it's me and I'm really super duper excited to show you about this new thing I've discovered in Google Forms that is epically amazing and completely life changing and I'm about to blow your mind. Oh my gosh, sit down because otherwise you're going to fall down from fainting. You're going to be so excited. Here we go. Earlier this week, I attended a session, a webinar by Laura Boucher with Simple K-12. And it was like this free webinar series that they were doing. And it was like how to create stories with Google Forms. I'm like, okay, I'm into Google Forms. As you've read in the blog, like I, or if you haven't read my blog and you're just watching this on YouTube, go read the blog. Um, we are trying to norm in our school that everybody uses Google Forms for our lessons, and I actually love it. Um, so I was like, well, I'll just see what this is about. And oh my gosh, my mind is like going 100 miles an hour. I'm giving a training already to my staff on Monday to teach them about all the ways they can use it. I've already thought of a million different ways you could use it in math classes, social studies classes, ELA classes, like I'm so excited. But of course, as usual, world language teachers have the best opportunities for it for the most fun. So it's all about choice. We know how important choice is in our students' lives, and we know how um, driven they are by choice, and we know that choice is one of the number one things we can incorporate for uh, eliminating classroom management problems because uh, power struggles usually um, occur when there's a loss of choice or, or the kids feel like they have no choice or no say. So what if I told you that I've discovered a way in Google Forms, thanks to this webinar, of how to create, do a create your own adventure story in Spanish in Google Forms. It's like story asking for asynchronous classes. What? I cannot even begin to even start evening even a little bit. Right? Okay, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Pause, play. Now you should see me in the little corner, right? Okay, or maybe I'll make it in the top corner or maybe over this way. No, over this way. Okay, well, regardless, I'm gonna take us to this page over here because that page was the like Google form creation. I'm gonna walk you through as if you were a student, okay? <laughs> Nifty, huh? Okay, now watch this. First it says, hola, como te llamas? That's because I want to norm that even though we're not in school, you should still be writing your name on your work. So my name is La Maestra Loca. And because I am La Maestra Loca, let's include a little unicorn, boom. Okay, como te sientes? Um, I am feeling emocionada, cansada, loca, and tenacious. I don't think I translated that one. Oh, well, that doesn't even matter. It's a test run for y'all anyways. Look at the top in the title. It says testing for storytelling. Testing because I'm like, this is a trial for y'all. Last weekend, I went on an adventure. Help me recreate what happened. So I did that in English intentionally because this, this is the first time they're doing a choose your own adventure with me. I want them to like understand like, ooh, intriguing. What do you mean recreate it? Well, they're about to learn, aren't they? Okay, look, they come down and it says, este fin de semana fui a la casa de mi amiga. Adriana or Claire? <laughs> you mean I get to choose whether you went to your friend Adriana's house or Claire's house this weekend? That's so cool. How am I ever going to pick? Well, I guess I have to. I guess I'm gonna pick uh, Claire. Next. Oh my God. Because I clicked, I went to Claire's house. I came to a different page that says, oh, fui a la casa de Claire. I went to Claire's house. In case you don't teach Spanish. I went to Claire's house. Interesting, Claire is my crazy friend. So I'm gonna just translate into English in case there's any French or German or Mandarin or Latin or whatever teachers watching this. So. Then, when I entered into Claire's house, I saw a disaster. Claire was painting her entire house the color. They get to choose, is she painting the house red or purple? So exciting. 
I'm going to say purple because my friend Claire actually is obsessed with color purple. So, of course, she would be doing it purple. Next, she said, Annabelle, how good it is to see you here. Help me, please. We're going to paint the kitchen the color purple. This feels small to me, so I'm going to go zoom in so you can see the writing bigger. Um, then I have to move my face. Move in my face. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, I'll keep it over here. <gasps> We're going to paint the kitchen purple. And then it says, when we entered into the kitchen, we saw something very interesting. We saw a tiger eating Chips Ahoy cookies, or we saw a monkey eating ice cream. Uh, how do you even pick? <laughs> I don't even know. I guess a monkey eating ice cream. Next, the monkey ate three ice creams with all that sugar. He became crazy. He went running for the, through the whole house and he escaped using the door or the window. Uh, the window, way more fun. Next, look at this. That must be at the end of the story. You can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. The reason mine is short and will continue to be short is you should see the amount of content my kids are having to do virtually for their other content classes. It is insane. And we aren't even a school that is, is like going crazy on kids. So you bet your butt mine are going to be fun and simple and short for them. Input, 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 any that I can do this year. I'm just hoping for a little input this year. With as many details as possible, describe the story that you just created in English. So there's my comprehension check. How much do they remember? Well, shoot, maybe they just clicked, 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 maestra. They weren't even reading what they were saying. Well, now it's a required question. In order to finish this, they have to write details. But maestra, they can hit the back button. They can reread what it was that they created. They could even redo it. Wait, you're telling me they could go back and read more Spanish? Oh no, what am I gonna do? Sounds pretty good to me, huh? Huh, huh? Go back and read all the way from the beginning, I don't care. Read as much times as you want to, kids. As many times? That sounds more grammatically correct. Oh well. Okay, so then we go next. And then they're going to type, um, I went to, or you, Maestra, Maestra went to Claire's house. Now using three to six sentences in Spanish, finish the story where it left off. Después de escapar la casa de Claire, el mono... Montó en caballo y, fui, y fue al supermercado, etc., etc. They're going to do whatever they want, right? That's the beauty of it. And then when they're done, they hit submit. And it says, muy bien hecho. Gracias por participar. Me encanta la historia. I love the story that you wrote. So exciting. That's my feedback for them. They're done. But they can also go back to the link I shared for them in their Google Classroom. And because they will, a lot of them, because they're going to be like, well, what would happen if I clicked on Claire? Do I care if they submit another form? Please. Even if they don't go all the way through to the end, because they're likely not going to want to type all the stuff again. But if they're reading more because they want to see what happens if you do Adriana, I'm contenta. Uh, I went to Adriana's house. Next. Ah, interesting. She's my, tr like, calm friend. When I entered into her friend, uh, into her house, she was in front of the TV watching a program about exercises. She was um, watching a program on, on yoga with, with animals, specifically yoga with cats or with goats. What? Yoga with goats. Absolutely. Next, she saw me, and in a very calm voice, she said, hey, friend, what's up? Do you want to do yoga with me, with, with goats with me? And I responded, yes, I would love to do yoga with goats with you. Or, oh, no, thanks, I don't like yoga. Like, the possibilities are endless. I cannot even begin to start evening even a little tiny bit. What? Y'all, 
so excited to see what you do with this. Let me know. Tell me in the comments of my blog. Tell me in the comments of this YouTube video. I love you. We're going to have a great year. Let's make this work because guess what? This is our reality. And we have to make it work. And it's going to be okay. And it's not forever. You can do it. We can do it. We're figuring it out. I love you. Sending you positive energy. Have a great year. Um, do it for the kids. You got this.